right guys welcome back um we're down here at the local creek that goes right through the middle of town as you can see there's trails everywhere i've caught a ton of beaver down here but um sometimes they'll all move out and go to another location and come back it's kind of weird how they work they work this whole little area we come down today and we got one we got a nice big beaver I'm gonna try to pull it out here and get my glove on. Hang on. <laughs> All right. Bear with me, people. <laughs> try not to fall in here. It's right up on the edge of this bank. Oh my gosh. It is a hoss. <laughs> All right. Big one. Pretty good size beaver. Oh, 330. Suitcased him. I got a couple muskrat traps down here. Let's go see if there's anything in them. Here's the sign that I seen when I came in the other day. Seen this right here? There's another pile right there, like a mound he'd made. And so I moved it over there and remarked it. Put in a body grip, and sure enough, he just came in that night and tried to redeem his territory, and he lost. And those two traps you can see right there, they're still there, and the apple is actually underwater. Water shot up a little bit, so that's probably the problem with that. I think I have one more little muskrat run over here with the, <clears throat> the small little 160 in it. And it's also still set. So I'm gonna try to get this beaver trap back in. Got me some grounders made up. I wanna try that because these beaver here are getting really shy to these body grip traps. Last season I didn't do too hot. They were they were on to me big time. But I'm gonna try and get this foothold set in here. And I'll be back and let you guys see that. But got a big nice beaver here. Beautiful. It's almost January. So it's it's good and prime. Nice big tail. <clears throat> Not huge, but I wear a size 11 and a half, so got a foot long tail. We're gonna get this back in here before it gets too dark, guys. I'll be right back with you. 